Don't worry, Torrent. Fortune is on his side. We found him here, after all. One of his kind is sure to seek the Elden Ring. Even if it does violate the Golden Order. Greetings, traveler from beyond the fog. I am Melina. I offer you an accord. Have you heard of the Finger Maidens? They serve the Two Fingers, offering guidance and aid to the Tarnished. But you, I am afraid, are maidenless. I can play the role of Maiden, turning runes into strength to aid you in your search for the Elden Ring. You need only take me with you to the foot of the Erd Tree. Then it's settled. Summon me by grace to turn runes into strength. Ah, another matter. I bequeath to you this ring. Use it to traverse great distances. It will summon a spectral steed named Torrent. Torrent has chosen you. Treat him with respect. Shall I turn your runes to strength? Let my hand rest upon you, for but a moment, share them with me, your thoughts, your ambitions, the principles you would follow. you to put faith in but a stranger, yet I'm certain that we can reach an understanding. Summon me by grace, if you should reconsider. This tiny golden aura is the grace of the Erd Tree. This light once shone in the eyes of your tarnished brethren, but now it is all that guides you. Or so I hear. You can see them, can't you? The rays of grace that guide you through your burden. Upon the cliff in Castle Stormvale is a shard bearer, a demigod, who inherited a fragment of the shattered Elden Ring. If the rays of grace signal the castle, then the Elden Ring beckons you. As an ally by pact, I pray that you are fit to face the challenge presented by the Ring. Forgive me. I've been testing you to see whether or not Grace truly does guide you. And 
whether you are fit to face the challenge that entails. It seems my worries were unfounded. Torrent had your measure from the very start, whereas I merely pretended. There is but one other thing I can do to offer you guidance. I can take you to the Round Table Hold, gathering place of tarnished champions, guided by grace. Very well. Let my hand rest upon you for but a moment. Spoken echoes linger here. Words of Queen Marika, who vanished long ago, if you wish. I will share them with you. Very well. In Marika's own words, my lord and thy warriors, I divest each of thee of thy grace. With thine eyes dimmed, ye will be driven from the lands between. Ye will wage war in a land afar, where ye will live and die. Well, perhaps that might serve you in lieu of a maiden's guidance. Spoken echoes of Queen Marika linger here as well. Shall I share them with you? In Marika's own words, then, after thy death, I will give back what I once claimed. Return to the lands between. Wage war. And brandish the Elden Ring. Grow strong in the face of death. Warriors of my lord. Lord Godfrey. Spoken echoes of Queen Marika linger here as well. Shall I share them with you? In Marika's own words, the Earth Tree governs all. The choice is thine. Become one with the Order, or divest thyself of it. To wallow at the fringes, a powerless upstart. The Erd Tree is close, only a little further till the foot of the Erd Tree, and the accord is fulfilled. It takes me back. I was born at the foot of the Erd Tree, where Mother gave me my purpose, though now everything is lost to me. I have to ascertain for myself the reason for which I live, burned and bodiless. Your seamster, Bok. I see him crying from time to time. I think he misses his mother. He wants someone to tell him he's beautiful. Does being born of a mother mean one behaves in such a manner? Spoken echoes of Queen Marika linger here as well. Shall I share them with you? In Marika's own words, I declare mine intent to search the depths of the Golden Order through understanding of the proper way. Our faith, our grace is increased. Those blissful early days of blind belief are long past. My comrades, why must ye falter? Spoken echoes of Queen Marika linger here as well. Shall I share them with you? 
in Marika's own words, hear me, demigods, my children, beloved, make of thyselves that which ye desire, be it a lord, be it a god, but should ye fail to become aught at all, ye will be forsaken, amounting only to sacrifices. My utmost thanks for bringing me to the base of the Erd Tree. Here, I can govern my own movement, and thus, the accord is fulfilled. I shall depart to ascertain the purpose I was given. Farewell. I shall leave Torrent and the power to turn runes into strength here with you. I wish you luck in realizing your ambition. You have fought long and hard. I have no doubt you will become Elden Lord. May you take the throne. Hello again, old friend. Allow me a moment to converse with you. You were unable to enter the Erd Tree, no? Prevented by the mantle of barbs. The thorns are impenetrable. A husk of the Erd Tree's being that spurns all that exists without. The only way to stand before the Elden Ring and become the Elden Lord is to pass the thorns. My purpose serves to aid in that very act. So I'd like you to undertake a new journey with me to the flame of ruin, far above the clouds, upon the snowy mountain tops of the giants. Then I can set the Erd Tree aflame and guide you down the path to becoming Elden Lord. Spoken echoes of Queen Marika linger here as well. Shall I share them with you? In Marika's own words, O Radigan, leal hound of the Golden Order, thou art yet to become me. Thou art yet to become a god. Let us be shattered, both mine other self. There is something I'd like to say. My purpose was given to me by my mother, but now I act of my own volition. I have set my heart upon the world that I would have, regardless of my mother's designs. I won't allow anyone to speak ill of that, not even you. Spoken echoes of Queen Marika linger here as well. Shall I share them with you? In Marika's own words, Hark, brave warriors. Hark, my Lord Godfrey. We commend your deeds. Guidance hath delivered ye through each ordeal to the place ye stand. Put the giants to the sword and confine the flame atop the mount. Let a new epoch begin, an epoch glistening with life. Brandish the Elden Ring for the age of the Erd Tree. We're almost there. The flame of ruin lies just ahead. I'm glad it was you I traveled with. I must tender my thanks to Torrent, too. Thank you, Torrent. Please continue to lend your aid. Till the end. Oh. 
I have long observed the lands between. This world is in dire need of repair and death. Indiscriminate. Are you prepared to commit a cardinal sin? Very well. Tell me when you are fully prepared. Are you ready to commit a cardinal sin? Very well. Let my hand rest upon you for but a moment. O oh, Erd Tree, you shall burn. Burn for the sake of the new Lord. Thank you for guiding me here. The one who walks alongside flame shall one day meet the road of destined death. Goodbye. If you intend to claim the frenzied flame, I ask that you cease. It is not to be meddled with. It is chaos. Devouring life and thought unending. However ruined this world has become, however mired in torment and despair, life endures. Births continue. There is beauty in that. Is there not? If you would become Lord, do not deny this notion. Please, leave the frenzied flame alone. I ask you one more time, please, seek not the frenzied flame. As one who strives to become a lord, deny not the lives, the new births of this world. Those who would are not fit to be called lord, when the land they preside over is lifeless. The lord of frenzied flame is no lord at all when the land they preside over is lifeless. You have inherited the frenzied flame. A pity. You are no longer fit. Our journey together ends here. And remember, should you rise as the Lord of Chaos, I will kill you, as sure as night follows day. 
such is my duty for allowing you the strength of runes. Goodbye, my companion. Goodbye, Torrent. Lord of Frenzied Flame. I will seek you as far as you may travel. To deliver you what is yours. Destined Death.